About to get underway. Stretching onto the door. Waiting for the Pied Piper. The green light is on. Timekeeper's right. Judges right. Competitors go! Hey! 2016 20 sheep final. You have a bet with your next door neighbour how long this is going to take. You'll get an estimation on the first sheet. I reckon it's somewhere around about 48 seconds on this first one. Rolly Smith steps up the neck. He's got the ones with the yellow brands on. And he's around the back of the head just as quick as I can talk. Down there oh, with a nice green stripe on. David Buick's into the long blow. The man from Pongara. On stand number five, Dion King. We've watched him many a times here in the open final. He'll be working his heart out. Parader Abrahams comes across the top here. Over the shoulder comes Troy Piper. But it's going to be Johnny. Oh, Roland Smith. 45 seconds. Gerald. Get into that sort of stuff. Pirate Abraham runs in and grabs another one. He's a bit of a crowd favourite. we got David Buick down here on stand number six. Out comes the belly. De Dion King on stand number five. Bit of a kicker. But here we go. This young Roland Smith. He's into it. But he's oh. taking Johnny Kirkpatrick with him, Gerald. Oh, yeah. Look at Dion King, though. He's firing some super shots in there, too. Into the base there. Round the head he goes. Oh, I heard Kevin much on the uh, TV screen earlier. He said that Dion King's in a really good headspace. And it looks that way at the stage. He throws the leg over and locks it up. But the speed stakes is still one and two. Not a lot out of Dick and Stool. Chuck a blanket over, but it's your man, Roland Smith, ladies and gentlemen. 133 and sheep number three on the board. Johnny Kirkpatrick says, right, oh fella, I'm right with you. I'm in the space as well. I was good in that test, I sure very well in the in the PGG rights and hey, that, that multi-breed event and I was on fire and I'm looking fit now. Around the back comes the Buick, he needs to get the throttle cable sorted out down there right from the word go. Dion King settles into the job now on stand five. Parada Abraham starting to feel the pressure already. He needs to clear his head and get on with the job. Up the neck comes Troy Piper. We know he punches home late in the piece. And he's keeping it solid at the moment, but Roland Smith rolling it out. Tuma, one, two shots. Johnny K hard on his heels here on the front. We got David Buick, he's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. He's in on stand number six. He's right there. We got Pirata, get in there, Pirata. Dion King had a bit of a kicker earlier on, but he drags another beauty. But look at this guy on stand number six. The David Buick up the neck, he goes. He's going to give it to Roland Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Round the back of the head, he works. Johnny Kirkpatrick had a little wee bit of a kick. He's a little wee bit behind. But David Buick, come on, mate. Keep the flag flying long more time for the Buick. Gerald, what's that Roland Smith doing? Ah, uh, the Roland Smith. Well, I commentated on him quite a lot lately, and I tell you what, round sheep six or seven, for some reason, he does the afterburners. Whether he throws in a couple roughies, I don't know, but he still wins the competition, so just keep an eye out on him. Here we're going to give a bit of stick, but once again, your man, David Buick, is right up his tail. 
by Rada Abraham's up his tail. Johnny Kay's up his tail. There is no give me at the golden shares, but the sun hat comes off. Where's Troy Piper gone? Come on, young Troy, we need a big finish, mate. Keep on digging deep. But round to the, the long blow goes the Smith man. Forrest in only one small but small shot, but then the Buick locks is up on the long blow and starts really mousing the wool off there on those big body shots. But on to the last shoulder again, John, is Roland Smith. Sheep five, just about the finishing touches here. And stool the front man. But David Buick's coming at him again, ladies and gentlemen. Take note. David Buick pulls out a little beauty into the belly. Pied out to Abraham's right there, he skips in. Dion King working his way down the last side. The Piper, did the Piper put it all into the test for New Zealand? Because he's on the long blow, but off the net goes the Buick. Buick, we have a new leader. David Buick around the head he waves. Pied out to Abraham, off the net he goes as well. The master to land, Pied out to Abraham. He said, don't forget about me. Long blow time down here for the Buick, but as Roland Smith been there, done that, no, that's still blow for blow. Over the shoulder they went, Pied out to Abraham. Keep it going, you're only a couple of blows behind. Here we go, these big boys are throwing the big shots in. Pied out to Abraham, you've got them as well. Long blow time for the King. Look at the Buick and the Roland Smith, Johnny. Team Buick is going berserk up behind me here. They can't contain themselves. They're going to break the seats if we're not careful in the house. In goes Johnny Kirkpatrick now on sheep one for seven for him. Roy Piper's got number six on the board and half. Sean, he'll have to let the brakes off shortly. I see him have a little bit of a look along the board before. He'll forget about looking, mate. Just put your head down and bum up and get on with the job. Dion King brings out number seven, but the battle still rages at the either end of the field. We like this because it involves the whole team. And at over the top, they come together. Who's got the fastest last side? Buick under the shoulder, Smith under the shoulder by half a shot. Out the last thing he comes, Johnny Kane firing off the top as well. Buick rolls out. Smith goes back for a bit of a second shot. In goes the Buick now. 1.4, 1.1, 1.3.8. Good shear. Point to seven, point five. By golly, it's tight down here on the top line, Gerald. Oh, she's tight, all right. She's tighter than an all-black Ford pack. As Buick takes the top knot off, I'm afraid to say, but I think Troy Piper's had an adrenal dump in the earlier ones. You can see his arms are really, really heavy here now. He's going to have to battle us all the way through and bring up the tail. He won't come from there, but good luck, Troy. Give it everything you've got. Back on the focus. We've got the big tall fella. Got the big wingspan going on the journey home. But we've got Pirata Abraham, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for letting me know where did Pirata come from. He's mousing them out. Look at the rhythm of this man, Tuma. He is just floating around them now. Swing, swing, up we go. Two up the back, straight onto the top knot. It was all one shot. Did you see that, folks? The undermine and the top knot, one shot as he goes round towards the long blow. Go with him, ladies and gentlemen. Don't back off him now. Two minutes, all go. We have a new leader, Pirate Abraham, ladies and gentlemen. Get behind this young man. Here he goes down the last side. He says, this is my first final. See you later, baby. Here he goes. Pirate Abraham, ladies and gentlemen. He's having a screamer. We got Roland Smith on stand number one, chasing hard, but it's all the boy on stand number four, Johnny. Well, you master and people are getting spoiled for choice here in this competition. You've had a lot of locals in the finals. Can this young man with a big sleeve and the big heart take it away here for the wire rapper you dearly love? The Parongaraz team down there, they want their man to win. In Hastings, we've got a couple of starters as well as Napier. And one lonely fellow from down in the deep south, the Troy Piper. Come on, Troy, you deliver. Got the, the life of the south on your shoulders at the moment, mate. Step forward and make the, hit every post a winning post. But in Ooh. for number 11, Carrera Abraham's bastard. And come on, get into him, Gerald. Oh, we've talked about it for years, ladies and gentlemen, about rifting rafters off the roof. 
Yeah, I think we're going to do that here tonight. We are going to rattle them. Roland Smith, new territory for him. He's normally the one that has drawn the line in the sand. He's normally the one that says, I sign the checks around here. But at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, Pirata Abraham, he is the one with the stick in the hand and said, here's the line, young fella. If you want to cross it, you're going to have to start pulling that comb up and chase me with everything you've got because I've got two hands on this cup and I'm not going to let her go. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to hear you as he preaches for that catch. Give it up again. Pied out to Abraham, he pulls another little beauty out. He's got a quarter of a sheep around Roland Smith, quarter of a sheep around David Buick. He's got a whole sheep around Dion King, and he's shearing out of his skin. Where's his lady? He should be up there cheering for him. Up the neck goes Pied out to Abraham. He's got nearly a half a sheep around the next closest. Roland Smith to him. Long blue time for the Abraham. He's having a hell of a share, Johnny. Well, I'm just looking at the sheep numbers. Troy Piper's only got number. 10 finishing. Johnny Kirkpatrick goes in for number 12. Rolly Smith comes up over the top here on the front stand. We've got eight left in the pen now, guys. Dion King says, what went happen? What happened? What went past me? It was Barada Abrahams in his V8. I think he had a must have a V16. Look at him go. Sheep number 13 on the board. Over the top comes Stewart. Look, here comes uh, Prada, looking pretty well, swooping though. David Buick down the last side, he's taking care of Smith at the moment. So it's the wire rapper boys firing on all cylinders. Hastings being shut out. Dion King goes in. Johnny Kirkpatrick comes to the money side. Troy Piper turns onto the last side, but a sheep off the pace. Rolling. Smith comes down the belly now, swooping blows. He's got a few quick ones in his pen, perhaps. Up over the top and down the last side comes Ferrara Abraham Gerald. He's poking him in thick and fast. He's not leaving much on either. Ooh, another one now. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Ferrata Abraham has all the spotlight at the moment, okay? Don't forget about the David Buick. He's just had a change of steel, folks. We'll steady the ship for a wee minute. And it's going really well for him, so he's going to be in for a big finish. Now we've got to keep an eye out whether they change their gear at the right time because it has a massive impact on how it goes. If it starts dragging on one sheep at this speed, it's going to give you and dance around and kick you about, and it's going to be all bad. Roland Smith goes in for another one. But at this stage, sheep 13 been and gone, and on to 14 for Pirata. On to the journey home. And with a crowd like this been behind him, there's no way his petrol tank's going to run out because we're going to roar at him. We're going to fill it up with the most positive, most powerful energy you would ever imagine. Get ready to roar again, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Right up to Abraham. He gets in. He pulls out a little beauty. He's got a change of handpiece. He's a half a sheep behind the next closest person, which is David Buick. David Buick just turns to the last side, coming down over the shoulder, but Pirata Abraham into the undermine. He's got the fresh steel. Pirata, I can hear them all yelling out for you. Here we go, up the neck. He can smell the money. He can smell it. He wants to put a sheep around Johnny Kirkpatrick. Long blow time for Pirata. Johnny Kirkpatrick just turns to the last side. Here we go, Johnny. This guy, he's getting faster. What happened, Troy Piper says? First it was Dion King said what happened. Now I've got two round me, says the man from Winton. I can't do nothing about it. A little bit of a shake, rattle and roll from Johnny Kirk as he goes into the pen. 15 sheep coming out. To 16 sheep there for Pirata Abraham. He's got three quarters of a sheep around the Rolly Smith at the moment as he rocks around the back of the head now, down into the off shoulder. Long blow time for the man on the front stand. Troy Piper oh. starting to skip into the pen, but these lefties run a bit late. Over the top comes Buick from Pongaroa down there. This is the new steel settling him. He's got a big sheep. In goes Dion King. Quick look along the board. 15 sheep now. Down the belly he goes. Inspect the gadget on the front stand. But it's Buick out in front of him. But over the top comes Parada. All three quarters of a sheep on the next man. Sweeping down that last side. Come on, Master. Start to get on your feet for this lead. Oh, yes, John. I tell you what. Even if he doesn't take the top podium spot, to be putting one round some people at this level, it's a phenomenal share. It's a win as far as I'm concerned already for Pirata Abraham, your local boy. 
Oh, that second uh, handpiece is going really well. He's got a beautiful pair of sheep and he's hoeing into them. Troy Piper, finishing touches. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, still in the house and toiling away is that Johnny K from Napier on the second stand. Roland Smith is thinking, are you commentators telling me lies or not? We're telling you the whole truth. The truth always prevails, Roly. Pie rider Abraham is hitting sheep. 18, ready to put the indicator on you. Pie rider Abraham, ladies and gentlemen, he wants to put a sheep around Roland Smith. Roland Smith hasn't had this in his life, but Pirates is going to do it. Into the end, boy goes Pirates. He's chasing the Smith. Up the neck he goes. He's chasing hard. Roland Smith, he's just dropping into the long blow. Pirates tear dropping into the long blow as well. Holy smokes, Johnny Pirates is getting faster. 14 minutes and 18 sheep almost. Sean turning on to the last side. This could be one of the fastest golden years in history as he comes under the shoulder down and out to the flank the piper brings number 16 on the board here goes Rolly Smith Dion King goes in oh, oh, oh. look at what's happening Masterton he's put a sheep round the next man down he goes as you say it's unlikely to stay that way but you never know have they got some bunnies left in the pen as the, up the top comes the Buick up the top comes Smith here on the front up the top comes Pirata Johnny K says I can't match it at the moment sheep number 18 on the board I'm half behind Troy Piper's two back further in the field Dion King's one over the top they come on the last side of the Buick for the 18th time over the top for Roly Smith Byrata Abrahams for 18 down and out to the flank Gerald who's going to do it who who ladies and gentlemen he has given to Roly Smith the blinker. It's the last and final one. Into the belly goes Pirata. Down he goes, the first hind leg. Johnny K sweating on Sheep 18. Absolutely pouring off him. Dion King going well. David Buick's battling really hard. Onto the long blow he goes. But it's Pirata Abraham. He's your man. It's your show. It's his day, ladies and gentlemen. As he starts coming home now, he's on the last shoulder. Bring him all the way. Keep going. Pirata Abraham, ladies and gentlemen. Get off your feet and stand up. Pirata Abraham. Woo! One around the field still going Woo. here. Here we have oh, Rowley right. Smith going and David Buick's going. There's battles and battles up here. Dion King says, hello, still going to keep going. Going into the pit. What went wrong? What went past me? Sheep number 19. Two sheep around me, that little fella. Here comes the Buick now. Sheep number 20. Can he hang on to second place and put the cat among the pigeons? Here comes 20 for Johnny Kirkpatrick. They're rolling hard. Rowley Smith's in the long blow as well. But it could be Pongara next off. Why Rabbit could be to the four again. He comes to the top of the shoulder. Rowley Smith to the top of the shoulder. Johnny K up the neck. Piper to the top of the shoulder. Here comes the Buick. Right out the last leg. The oh. Buick. <laughs> Rowley Roll. Smith. Holy smoke. Dion King on 19. Johnny K from Napier's on 20. Over the shoulder he goes. We're still only a running time of just on 17 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. They've had to drag out and shear, catch and shear, they call it. 20 of these really big, strong tutus. He's brought the head forward. He's given it everything he's got. He's left everything up there. Give it up. He's still in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny, Johnny King. Dion, Dion King. Give it to him, Gerald. Goes. Give it to him. He's worth it. Yeah, he's, he's worth it. it. All right, look at him. He's got a fighter, and he's thinking now's not the time. He has a wee talk to him and says, darling, just give me 15 seconds and we'll have this done. Over the shoulder he goes, riding it back. Look at the speed he's travelling at. Like a whirlwind. A miniature Torado on the stage. Give it up for Dion King, the Hastings man. Sheep number 20 up here for Troy Piper. Troy, you've been up on stage quite a lot tonight. 
it's definitely taking its toll on you. You're not all that really familiar and experienced with just a 20 sheet final. Leatherin having uh, two big battles here before you come up now. He's given everything for his country. He's given everything for himself and his family name for the PG multi breeds. And here he is, he's done the best he could, but you could see around sheet number five, it had taken its toll on the youngster. He's dug deep to get these 20 done. He's come a long way, he's been on a plane, he's hired a room, he's hired a car, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Piper, look up. at the score! Right, Piper. Nothing wrong with the score! The Golden Shears final has just finished. There was a guy out there tonight that went, in my words, probably ballistic. And uh, I'm sure there was a goal in mind, and uh, I don't think he quite did it, did he? An exciting final, incredible really. I, I had a couple of words to him before he went out. His first final, um, the pressure and excitement and, and the intensity of that final would have been unbelievable for him. And I actually just said to him, go and have some fun, enjoy yourself. <laughs> and it, he certainly did that and what a great attitude. He, he just gave it all. Um, you know, to put one around Roland Smith at, at, at this stage in Roland's career, um, admittedly Roland I think is going to have the quality to still take the title. Yeah. But, uh, gee, great attitude, great entertainment, which is what it's all about <laughs> by Pirata. We haven't heard the stadium that noisy for a long, long time. And, David, I know the time was in probably in Pirata's mind. David Fagan, the great Sir David Fagan's done it in this time. I'm going to try and beat it. And I don't think he did it, did he? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, under 16 minutes, I think, for um, Pirata. I'm not sure what it was. Low 15s maybe the best, best time here. But... It's not really about the time, it's about this year, on this stage, with this final, with this group of six guys, and um, he certainly took it to everyone, and, and I've always said, when you go up there, you're an entertainer, and he certainly did that tonight. We are, we are entertainers, and that's what we've got to get across to ourselves, athletes at the same time, athletes and entertainers, because the, the guts that's required at that level, and you've known it, you've known it for so many years, and uh, you've put a good uh, whisper in his ear, Pada, to go and enjoy yourself. And Have some fun, certainly absolutely. did that, didn't he? Yeah, it's great. Good to see. <laughs> David, well, that was the Golden Shears final. You believe that uh, Roland has probably done enough to keep the keep. Uh, if, if I had to pick, yes, title. I think he's done enough to keep the title. But right. um, what a final. The noise in the crowd, the intensity, and um, that's what it's all about. Seeing someone up there with the, the attitude, first-time finalist, going up there and no fun. reputation taking it on to everyone. <laughs> we'll finish off the interview, David, by uh, acknowledging the fact that you've been knighted, and uh, that was wonderful for our whole shearing industry worldwide. David, just give us a little bit of a touch on it, because I have seen some press releases, but it'd be great to hear from your voice in yeah, the stadium it's, it's, here. it's uh, a pretty special thing, obviously, for, for, for my family, um, closely, my close family, but... Um, you know, for the for the wider wider cheering community and rural industry, um, I accepted it because it wasn't just for me. I feel very proud of it that we can share this with everyone now. And um, I might have been the vehicle that got the knighthood, but gee, there's a lot of people deserve a lot of credit, and um, we can all share in this and be very proud of it. There's a couple of things we could talk on. We could talk about the boxing. We could talk about all the speed <laughs> shares. But David, David Fagan, Sir David Fagan is in the stadium with us this evening and on the World Wide Web. And we appreciate the time that you take out to come and talk to us, David. That's, that's a pleasure, Koro. And uh, I'll be back next year to enjoy this again. Thank you, David. Absolutely. How good was that final, Masterton? I can tell you that our very own Pirata Abraham secured the third fastest in history. Shearers to my right have seven golden shears titles between them and a world championship. As a result of the last three days of competition, we can now confidently say that they are the sixth best shearers in the world.
First place had penalty points of 59.8. Second place had penalty points of 62. The winner of the 2016 Golden Shears Open Shearing title will receive $3,000. The Golden Shears Open Challenge Trophy, a Lister handpiece and Lister product. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2016 Golden Shears Open is Roland Smith. Stitching me up already. <laughs> um, just like to acknowledge all the other finalists up here tonight. Um, Bagshot sheep are honest, hard work sheep, and there was nothing but that tonight. So, um, yeah, thanks to Bagshot and Ken McPherson for presenting that up for us tonight. Um, Golden Shears for putting on another fantastic event. Um, all the sponsors here tonight, um, Lance and his team for always putting in the hard yards behind the scenes. Um, Heinegger for looking after me, um, Barb's Bryant from Exalt, um, Ants Bryant for helping me out, um, my wife and um, little girl for being here supporting me, and um, all, all the family here. And um, yeah, just like to um, thank everybody for turning up and mum, cheers. Second place receives $1,300 and Lister product. From Napier, John Kirkpatrick. Third place, $900 and Lister product, Troy Piper. Fourth place, $700 and list of product, Dion King. Put your hands together for David Buick. And our very own Pirata Abraham. There is one more award associated to the Golden Shears Open Final. That is the John Henson Memorial Trophy for best quality points in the final. With 9.45, Roland Smith. <laughs> 